Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this unboxing of the 172nd Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 starter set from Airfix. It's Christmas Eve today so I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of the people that have subscribed to my channel um, and all of my followers on Instagram and Twitter. Um, without you um, it wouldn't be, you know, um, I wouldn't be motivated to do this. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you all have a great Christmas day tomorrow and uh, hopefully you'll continue to join me on my journey in the following year. So without further delay, let's have a look at this starter set. So um, some nice box artwork here on the front of the um, kit. Uh, nice shot of a Hawk Hurricane shooting down a Mischief Smith 109. Um, from the front you can see that it has one um, option for variation and it gives you a list of what's in the kit. Um, it's interesting to note that these colours are practically the same as the, well, they are the same as the colours that are included in the Spitfire set. So moving on, um, you get a information panel about the aircraft um, on one side. It's skill level one and you get a flying hour. On the other side, it's just a couple of uh, warnings about the kit says it's not suitable for children under eight and then on the reverse side we get the single color call out for this particular aircraft and it says it's number 615 squadron royal air force uh, in england 9 august 1940 uh, kenley so without further delay let's have a quick look inside. So let's, and there we go. Right, so let's get the mundane over with first. So straight off the bat, again, we get a Humbrol number two uh, brush. Um, I haven't used any of the brushes yet, but they look reasonably okay. Um, and certainly that I think that they would be adequate for doing um, less detailed work on a particular kit. Um, we then get the little bag of paint and glue. So again, as I said, the colours that you get are going to be, um, you get number 29 flat earth, you get number 30 dark green, you get 33 black and you get 90. Um, again, I don't know what the description for that particular colour is, whether it's a duck egg blue um, or something that they call it that. I know, I know it says duck egg blue, but it was more of a kind of a, a, a pale green. Um, and then you get the poly cement in the tube, um, which, as I've said before, I don't really use. So let's have a look at the destructions. And I have to say, this is actually for a small starter set. This is a very thick set of instructions. Um, on the front, we get in English and French information about the aircraft. You will then get warnings in multilingual, um, hobbies, hobby hobbies at the bottom, um, more information about the aircraft in different languages on the inside, brief about studying the assembly instructions, etc. You get the icon guide at the bottom of this instruction sheet here. Um, we're actually looking at, looking at the page count, we're looking at about 12 pages, which as I say is 
significantly more. For some reason, we've got contents list. We've got advice for supervising adults. I didn't realize adults needed supervising, but hey, there you go. Um, safety rules, multilingual, and then we get into the instructions proper. So straight off, um, we're assembling the undercarriage bays on the wing piece and it's more or less kind of like a single mono, mono piece um, lower wing and then a mono piece upper wing as well which is different to how the Spitfire goes together you've got a mono piece under wing on the Spitfire and then a um, two halves of the upper wing um, so that all goes together first and then it looks like you start with the cockpit details which looks like it's going to be reasonably reasonably detailed for a starter set. We've got control pedals, the joystick, the bulkhead seat, um, cockpit instrument panel. Uh, we do have a decal for that by the look of it on the decal sheet and then once you've done that um, this glues into one half and then you join the two halves of the fuselage together which then goes onto the wing piece. So moving over um, and this is unusual I've not I don't see this very often on aircraft kits but um, we're not we don't have a wraparound fuselage so that it's just joined top and bottom um, we actually have a cutout and then you glue on the final part of the fuselage now I'm assuming because there are panel lines um, this would be to hide some of the join etc that um, you would get if you just had two fuselage half sandwiched together um, you then go on to the tail fins and ailerons. Um, we're looking at the air intake underneath. Um, more bits and pieces for the undercarriage bay. And now this looks like it could be a fiddly part, part 90. Um, looks like it could be a, a fiddly part. Um, so sorry, it's not part 90, it's part C1. So it's, part, it's a clear part, um, I think. Um, and that goes into the undercarriage bay, it's painted colour 90. Um, so I would suggest um, fine nosed uh, tweezers are going to be needed to put that in. Um, we then go on to tail wheel, uh, another air intake, undercarriage up or undercarriage down and then we've just got a call out for how it's supposed to look. Um, the undercarriage down looks to be slightly more complicated than some of the other undercarriage that I've seen on aircraft of this era. And then you can add the wheels in. And then airspeed indicator tubes and various bits and pieces. Uh, and the prop. So the prop potentially it looks like you could potentially make the prop so that it spins and it looks like we get a two-piece canopy glass as well. So those are the instructions. Um, it's it's the, the thickest set of instructions I have seen for a starter set, to be quite honest, and certainly a series one, but a lot of that is taken up with blurb on safety, etc. So looking at the decals, again, absolutely fantastic. Uh, same with the other two start sets that I've looked at. Um, minimal uh, decal film around the outside 
so um, if we were to just go back into the carrier decals sheet um, now because these have yellowed you can actually see what I was saying about years ago there used to be a little overlap of decal film around the outside of the decal so you can see where it's yellowed that would be the decal film uh, and that made sometimes placing these uh, really difficult if it was being placed in a tight area but it's nice to see that um, kit manufacturers are now and the processes have now advanced so much that that film has been got rid of and that's nice to see so let's have a look at the kit and in the kit we get four grey plastic sprues and a clear so if we have a quick look at the clear So looking at this, potentially we get two front windshields, um, which I'm assuming may be for uh, different models, uh, different versions. Um, so we, according to the instructions, we will be using F2 so we will be using this particular windshield and then oops and then obviously the cockpit canopy and these look like glass covers for the landing lights etc in the wingtips so let's have a look at Shall we start off with the wings, seeing as that's how we start in the instructions. And straight away, um, I think you can clearly see that we have some raised details um, and recessed panel lines. So you can feel the, um, uh, if I remember rightly, the Hurricane was a fabric stretched over a frame so where it's been stretched over the frame you can see the struts underneath um, ridged into the model kit which is quite nice um, as I say we've got recessed panel lines um, we've also got um, a reasonable figure it's not brilliant but you know it's, it's not the end of the world um, bits for the cockpit here we've got the pedals, we've got the joystick, and the tail fins, uh, the the uh, rear tail planes. Um, so uh, that's the piece that um, goes into the landing gear area after you've joined the wings together. So um, not a clear piece, clear piece as I thought it might be. So the upper wings. Again, we've got that same stretched fabric look um, and recessed panel lines. Uh, obviously, um, work areas here would be for uh, access to the uh, aircraft armament. We've then got uh, weighted wheels, which again is nice to see um, on this particular aircraft. Uh, landing gear legs. Um, this is part of the landing gear bay and yeah it's looking it's looking good so the next sprue is the fuselage fuselage halves um, and again we've got that reproduction of the stretched fabric over the framework here um, we also have the uh, landing gear flaps and these particular landing gear are for if you want to mold it up in the flying position and um, we've then got the exhaust ports the seat part of the air intake so again um, looking at the cockpit interior 
it looks reasonable. Um, if you were to perhaps model this as being sat on the ground um, and using the RAF personnel figure set, if you had the canopy open, you would um, you could paint this so that it would be seen um, as the pilot rushed to uh, get into his aircraft. And that I think would be a nice touch. And then finally, we have the rear tail plane, we have the spinner, the prop, the tail wheel, we have the uh, bulkhead for the rear of the seat, and then we have the rear portion of the underneath of the fuselage. And again, recessed panel lines, it's, it's really nice and crisp and it's nice to see. So as a kit, it's nice. Um, I haven't seen a lot of flash on this. I don't know when it was made, unfortunately, but um, I would expect that it was probably produced in the last 10 years or so, looking at the quality. I can't see a timestamp on, on this. So this is the kit. You get four sprues, which is slightly more than the Spitfire. Along with the clear parts, the decals, the huge instruction sheet. As I say, it's one of the, for some reason, it's one of the biggest ones I've seen. You get your four paints, your glue, and your paintbrush. So that's it. Um, it's a nice kit. It looks like it's going to scrub up well once it's been put together and painted. And uh, again, I will be doing a build video for this in the in the future. So um, I'm in the process of trying to sort out the Harrier jump jet that I received from my friend a couple of weeks ago. And I'm hoping to do a build video for that first. And I will hopefully see you soon. All right. Take care. Bye bye.